So guys, welcome back to MacArthur Industries. So just another one today. So pretty big week this week in the Sandgate Auto Electrics and Automotive. And I know a lot of people are out in the marketplace and we're doing a few videos on this because we've been doing this for quite some time, but we thought we'd come out of the marketplace to give you some more internal knowledge of what's happening with the lithium setups and this thing here that's running at the moment being our AC. So what we've got is a lot more of the marketplace with our traveling Australians with big inverter setups going back down into our lithium battery setups with all different brands. So to give you an idea today, we've got Sam here and he's gonna do a bit of a video. We've gone through Enerdrive product today, 2600 inverter, okay. This Ibis 4, we're running on that sort of things at the moment, which is probably not gonna show, but it'll put some inserts in here. But we're looking at that running at the moment. We've got that set on 23 degrees. We're down at lowest fan speed and we're looking anywhere between, normally this will run between 65 to sort of 75 amp hours out of your battery. This unit here, the customer supplied his own lithium battery, okay? Happy to work with your products. Um, so he's gone and fitted a 200 amp hour lithium battery. And what he wanted to do is run a DC to DC as well in the vehicle to make sure he gets some more input to this. So whilst he's driving along, he can run the AC for approximately around about an hour. This is where he's trying to look at what he's trying to do. And once he gets to that while he's traveling during the day, to have it nice and cool so he can come in here, have lunch, use that and then the solar system. This hasn't got the biggest solar system on here. So what we're trying to say is the minimalistic side of scenarios where we've just gone to an inverter with a 200 amp hour, with a fair size DC to DC. This gentleman's not looking for a huge solar system. So this is one of the sort of minimum systems we do, but the good part is he's still getting out of it what he wants to get out of it. So everyone gives you a phone call and wants to do this sort of stuff. It ends up can be a very, very large outlay where they come and go, oh, I think it's going to cost me fifteen to $30,000 to do what I want to do. Sometimes you've just got to have your rationality down set where you want what you want out of it, and that can bring your pricing back down to where we can get it to a situation where it's affordable to do what you want to do if it's only for an hour or a scenario. So guys, have a think about what you want to do. If you've got any comments down below and you want to know about this sort of stuff, because it's such a, a marketplace where we go and read so much and not people are giving the information that, hey, it's been set up, it's showing the amp out draw, what's happening with this sort of vehicle here, with the Ibis 4 setup and with your Enerdrive 2600 watt inverter. It's got its all automatic, so once we disconnect here or plug in a 240, it'll take over. It's all automatically switched. Some great products from there, but what we do with the Red Arcs, we deal with the Vectrons, we deal with a lot of different marketplaces. So come and see us, look up, look at our YouTubes. A lot of this is gonna be coming through to you over the next two or three months. Go and subscribe to YouTube and make sure you get some more information that we can help you with. We were doing our video before. We've come back about 10 to 15 minutes later and we've got Sam here now. And what we're trying to do is show you where we're saying that startup was that 65 to 75 amps. And as we still have got this on 23 degrees on the Ibis 4 unit, the Dometic product, coming back, with our Enerdrive Drive 2600, you can see now we're down to about the 53 amps to 54 amps. So the marketplace out there where a lot of people saying, hey, this is going to draw 100 amps, 150 amps. If you've got the right product, if you've got the right situation, you'll be actually quite surprised what these come down to. And you've also got to think about your own controllability when you're doing this. If you want to sit this on 16 and have it freezing cold and trying to cool it down for time and time again, but be a bit smart about how you set things up with fan speeds, with temperatures and you'll make a big difference over the long time for you guys. So have a look into it and we'll work this out. Thanks very much.